In 2008, the Lao Renewable Energy Company, Sunlabob, won an award at the Lighting Africa Development Marketplace, a business forum sponsored by the World Bank Group. The prize money they received went to support a South-South business partnership between the Lao Company and a Ugandan company called TSSD, Technical Specialist Services for Rural Development. The money would allow the Ugandan company to become the first franchisee of Sunlabob in Africa. Now Sunlabob's solar lanterns and charging stations have arrived in the country. They're in place and up and running in two locations in southern Uganda, on the remote island of Busi and in the rural village of Sazi. Rosemary Kiberu runs the solar charging station here in Sazi. It's a job well suited to women, as she explains. For the lantern, customers pay a returnable deposit of 20,000 Ugandan shillings, and each recharge costs them a thousand shillings, which gives them about 10 hours of light. Demand here has been so high that the company has already installed a second charging station. Kale vitala wemanga mchaji nze vitala nga makumi ya noru naku. Na ye, e chintu choko le dao, awakao nga to obiro kula ne minimu jie mirala. Zisente te zibambi. Kale, obonji waba antu nalifu nyaba antu nga chikomi. Machitundu muno, nga viva kwa zise tala zino. Tulina haba maduka, haba hotelo, na haba musenyu baba deba ziko zisa. Now villagers in Sazi can work during the hours of darkness, thereby increasing their incomes, which in turn allows them to continue to use the service that Rosemary provides. She herself uses the lanterns for her own poultry business. The light helps her chicks to feed and so grow faster. Sazi has seen a number of income generating activities which have seen improvement, including the local shop. It's an opinion that this shopkeeper's clients agree with also. This young mother has been making use of the solar lanterns. Prior to their arrival, she had to use kerosene lamps, which are dangerous and unhealthy. <laughs> The franchise in Uganda follows the Sunlabob business model, which aims for long-term sustainability by leasing the equipment to staff, who are responsible for maintaining the equipment and keeping it in good working order. Supported by TSSD's technical officer, Ronald Sisanga. Here, Ronald is taking back some lanterns to service them in his company's workshop in Kampala. The following morning, Ronald travels to the island of Busi. It's about 10 square miles in size and isn't linked to the electrical grid. Here, the marsh is so shallow, it doesn't allow for motorboats, and all travel to and from the island is by paddle boat, like these ones. We are going to the remote area called Busi. It's an island about 10 kilometers from the mainland. That's where we installed a charging station. The area has a population of around 300 people. We found that area, it doesn't have electricity, and the government, and, and it will take a government like 15 or 20 years' time to come with install power. When the islanders heard about Rosemary's charging station in Sazi, they became interested in having their own. Now, in total, there are 95 solar lanterns on Busi, which are being used by 60 households. 
John Sferusa has been trained to run the franchise here on the island. There are two solar panels on the roof of his house, from which a cable runs to two charging stations and a computer which reads the charge that the lanterns are receiving. Due to popular demand, he also charges mobile phones. Every day, about 10 people come to recharge their lanterns. The local economy revolves around pineapples. But the villagers are poor, and so they have developed an innovative way of paying for their solar energy. Now the solar charging station has become a bulking point for pineapples. Customers like Brenda pay two or three pineapples for 10 hours of light. The idea of payment through farmers' produce is a practical one for those people who can't afford to pay cash. A similar plan is being developed for payment in Sazi, where many people raise chickens. This return to the bartering system is also a practical solution to the problem of limited markets, as Brenda explains. <laughs> Helping to generate local business, which in turn will help poor rural people to pay for their energy use, is a cornerstone of the Sunlabob business model. The Ugandan franchise has recently allied with a marketing firm, Agrinet, which has recognized the area's potential particularly should links be created from the area to juice processing factories in the capital Kampala. Now Agrinet has secured a deal for two tons of pineapples which are being transported from Busi for sale in Nakasero market in the capital. As a mother with children to look after, having light at night also allows Brenda to work for longer on the farm because now she can help her children with their schoolwork during the hours of darkness. Following the success of these two charging stations, TSSD now plans to deploy new lanterns in the areas of western and northern Uganda. <laughs>